Here in South Korea, the number of deaths in April rose to an all-time high for that month. There was a large increase in deaths from the pandemic, but it was also because the population is skewing increasingly older. There were also fewer births than in any April on record, resulting also in the sharpest population decline for the country in that month in history. Shin Sebyuk has more. The number of deaths in South Korea recorded in April rose to an all-time high of that month. According to Statistics Korea, in April, there were almost 37,000 deaths, which was a whopping 46.3 percent increase from a year earlier. As for the number of births, it was the 77th month in a row, almost six and a half years straight, that the number of babies born has declined. Birth came in at a little over 21,000, which was down 7 percent from a year earlier. In other words, the number of April deaths hit a new high, while birth fell to a new low. Factors include the aging population, the pandemic, and fewer people getting married. The number of people who died in April this year saw a 46.3 percent on-year increase due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the aging society, while births in April decreased because of a decline in both the childbearing population and new marriages. The number of people getting married edged down 0.4 percent on year, and with new marriages having been in decline for more than a decade, the number of divorces fell on year by 20.4 percent. Without government support, an expert said the number of births is likely to keep falling. We cannot expect much improvement in the fertility rate if the government decides not to make changes in terms of parental support. The current level of parental support, such as support for infertile couples and more parental leave, isn't enough. Meanwhile, the number of people who moved house fell to a 47-year low in the month of May at 523,000. The figure was down from a year before by a little over 6 percent. The agency said this is most likely due to a belief that home prices are going to fall while mortgage rates are rising as well as the decreasing number of people in their 20s and 30s, the age when people tend to move more often. Shin Sebyuk, Arirang News.